Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with an early update for Friday, the 14th of August. All right, now looking at the, uh, the markets, US equity markets, pretty flat, a slight risk off sentiment, if anything, from those, uh, you know, from the close of the equity markets. The dollar index, where we had, you know, looking at really good directions for the last week and some really good opportunities, has really diffused itself. And it uh, looks like, and that's completely diffused a lot of the major currency pairs. And that's really come back down to, uh, from what I can see, is all this, um, you know, political rubbish going through the states. You know, obviously a bit of a stalemate on the, um, uh, the stimulus, uh, another stimulus package, right? And then you've got uh, Trump trying to block that with the, um, he doesn't want mail-in voting for the election. So just on that, you know, you can look at the news and you can see that there's no clear direction there and there's no clear focus, right? And that is actually what ends up happening and it is reflected in your charts, right? So looking at the charts here, I mean, I've got some short-term um, trend lines here. The, uh, you know, this is the way trading has just congested this week. It's been a few false moves here and there, but most pairs are just basically trading sideways waiting for the next opportunity. There's still a bit of a slight downward slant on uh, Kiwi, upward move on uh, dollar yen, but it's not really racing away. If anything, the best pair at the moment that has got clear direction is dollar CAD, but it sort of looks weird down here, right? I know oil's rallying, but with everything else doing its own thing, is this just an oil move? Okay, and that could turn around very quickly, but you know what, on all time frames, actually, I'll just give you a look at that. The um, all time frames, dollar CAD is looking, really shaky you know what if we had good macro data and we've got weak us numbers you'd be selling this till the cows came home just here on the weekly chart you can see it just tweaking through that level there uh and that, that'll be coinciding with the breakdown here around 132.15 in on the dailies and then you've also got the monthlies right obviously these, these charts will replicate the same sort of trend lines but it's telling me that dollar cad's going down now with everything else going on, the uncertainty around the dollar and everything else, it makes it a hard trade to be confident to go into, especially coming into the Asian session. Maybe something you look at as you get close to that North American session. But once again, we're running into the end of the week. So you're going to lose that momentum over the weekend, especially as traders square up, trying to avoid the weird sort of news and headlines that are coming out over the weekends. So just coming back to the Daily Market Insight, just to give you a bit of a, a wrap, Trading conditions, well, to me, they're pretty average, right? The, the mix of US politics, uh, coronavirus globally and all that sort of stuff has really got the market just sort of scratching its head almost, okay? Slight risk off sentiment as far as uh, sort of a market driver. The charts, I mean, as I said, Kiwi's got a bit of a slight hold on to that sort of long term. It's just drift, looks like it's ready to fall, but it, just hasn't got any momentum. And Dollar Cat is, looks like the only pair at the moment with, with sort of good uh, structure, technically. Okay, fundamentally, it doesn't really, you can't really see what's driving it. Uh, and then just scrolling down here, just have a bit of a look through the, um, uh, the data coming out. Some, maybe some industrial production. I think there's a bunch of numbers coming out of China. It's not like the macroeconomics are really setting things on fire. So I'm not looking at that too much. And then coming into uh, Friday's trading, the North American sessions where the data is going to be at. Now, is this going to impact? I tell you what, from what we've seen this week, I'm not going to really be chasing it hard because it's, uh, you know, we're seeing odd moves on the dollar and it's pretty reflective of what we're seeing geopolitically on the, on the news. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's uh, plenty to play for. Obviously, next week's a new week. Um, if you are having a trade today, try and piece it together. As I said, there are... We've got potential in the charts. Just to quickly come back to that, there is potential here, but we just don't have that driving force to tell us whether to buy or sell. And that's the hard part at the moment. So just keep an eye on your trend lines, tune up your charts. It's all you can do at this stage. The uh, diamond in the rough will come from that process. All right, guys, have a good trade day. Cheerio.